Okay, it's a uh, Whiskey 4 Zulu X-Ray Tango, W4ZXNT, copy. Yeah, it, uh, I mean, the band condition kind of went down about the time you started testing. Um, I did see a small improvement when you went east, but, um, I hate to tell you again that the inverted V seemed to beat it out. And that doesn't mean that it's, uh, a better antenna. It just, you know, it could be the way the band's moving around right now. And we had this discussion, uh, on K1GMM, um, he has a YouTube, so we, we had this discussion the other day, so, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting, though, um, they all sound good, I can tell when you go west, um, but overall, the, uh, the inverted V seems to be winning out there a little bit, I think it was a 5.7, uh, to 5.8 when you looked east, and then it went to a 5.9 on the inverted V, and uh, when you went west, it was, I think I'm saying that right, yeah, when you went west, it was like a 5, a 6, or something like that, so uh, it's working there. Um, <laughs> I just like antenna theories, man. I, I, I find it interesting there. Go ahead. small lot and I'm about to uh, I'm about to put up a sloped delta loop for 40 and I don't know whether to keep two sides high and one side low or to uh, run two sides low and one high and then I think you want to feed it you know say you want to work a little bit of DX out of the like the east northeast to feed it on the southwest corner is uh, what I was reading there just a moment ago. So I don't know. Have you ever run uh, Delta Loops? Had any luck with them, or uh, any different uh, configuration that you would find uh, for any input there? Go ahead. <laughs> no, I haven't messed with Delta Loops at all. What 
few lifts I've tried, I personally didn't have any luck with, but I couldn't get them up very high. But hang on, Jared. Number one, there was a contact, and I told him to hang on. And Scott, you're very patient, and so are you, Mike. But there was another contact there, and I want to see what he has to say. Hang on, Jared, and Mike, and Scott. Who is the contact? Oh, by the way, somebody moved in about a KC away, so that might change things here. Uh, but who is the contact? Hey, good evening, it's uh, Kilo Delta 2, Bravo Echo November. The name is Richard up here in New Jersey. And I was uh, just listening to the conversation. I, I live in a condo and I'm running a 20-foot uh, um, V here, uh, inverted V. Your oh, signal wow. is terrific. Uh, I believe you were switching back and forth there, but I, when you're on, I think you're on the inverted. And I, I also work a 20-foot, 22-foot vertical, but the, uh, the, the inverted V uh, seems to be much better at that. Well, I'll just stay on that, Tucker, then. <laughs> the, uh, if I, when I take that half square down, it's going to change. The, the, the ray is always beat that inverted V. But the inverted V is clear over at the house where I have a tower and it's at, at the 48 foot level. I'm over here at the shop and that's where the array is and that's where the, the half square is and the uh, smaller end. You know, they all interact. And they were working great until I put that, that half square up there. I'm going to take that sucker down. Uh, Richard. Well, I'm not sure we've talked. Aren't you a pilot? Yeah, Richard, yeah. I'm a, I'm a retired American Airlines captain, and uh, we talked before, and um, yeah, I also still fly corporate and FAA examiner, yeah. But uh, I love getting on the radio and talking to everybody. Yeah, I know we've talked before. I was, I was giving you 